Generate 4K images in seconds on a regular laptop. That's the promise behind NVIDIA's new AI model, SANA. Built to run without high-end GPUs, it's catching attention for its speed and efficiency, claiming to outperform much larger models like Stable Diffusion. But with bold claims come big questions. Can it truly deliver professional-grade results on consumer hardware? And what are the trade-offs? In this video, we'll explore how SANA works, its key innovations, and real-world tests, breaking down what's impressive, where it falls short, so you can see for yourself if this model lives up to expectations. Breaking down what makes SANA special. Most AI image generators today require significant computing power. Models like Stable Diffusion, while powerful, need high-end GPUs to perform well, and even then, they can take several minutes to generate a detailed image. NVIDIA saw the problem and decided to address it head-on with SANA, a model designed to run smoothly on consumer-grade devices like laptops with just 16 gigabytes of GPU memory. SANA manages to generate 4K images while using fewer resources than its competitors, but what really catches the eye is its speed. It can produce images that are four times larger than those made by traditional models, and it does so in less time. Early testers reported 4K renders in under 10 seconds, which is a game changer for anyone used to waiting minutes for lower resolution outputs. SANA's lightweight architecture allows this speed without sacrificing the detail and quality expected from much larger models. Key Technologies Powering SANA's Performance SANA's unique abilities come from a combination of three core innovations that work together to keep the model lightweight and fast. First, it uses what NVIDIA calls a deep compression autoencoder. This technology compresses image data down to 3% of its original size without compromising on intricate details. It's a bit like taking a high-resolution image, zipping it down to a fraction of the size, and still being able to see every detail when it's opened again. This makes SANA's processing faster and less resource-intensive than other models that rely on more complex encoders, like the VAE used in Stable Diffusion. Next is the Gemma 2 LLM, which handles SANA's text prompts. Most image generators use encoders like T5 or Clip to interpret user prompts, but these can be demanding on system resources. NVIDIA opted for Gemma 2 because it's efficient and can still understand complex prompts with nuance. For instance, if you type sunset over misty mountains with ancient ruins, SANA will generate an image that captures not only the scene, but also the right mood and lighting, without bogging down your computer. The third innovation is Linear Diffusion Transformer, LDT, a streamlined alternative to UNET architecture found in models like Stable Diffusion. While UNET gradually removes noise from the image in multiple steps, LDT finds a more direct path to the final image, speeding up the entire process without sacrificing quality. This efficiency makes SANA an appealing alternative for users who don't have access to high-end hardware but still want professional-grade output. Real-World Benchmarks and Comparisons in early tests, SANA demonstrated its ability to generate 4K images with 30 steps in under 10 seconds, a pace unmatched by most models in the field. For context, Flux Schnell, another leading image generator, can only produce 1080p images in a similar amount of time. The difference in speed and resolution highlights SANA's technical edge. Several sample prompts were used to put the model to the test, showing both its strengths and its limitations. In one instance, the prompt, hand-drawn illusion of a giant spider chasing a woman in the jungle, resulted in a detailed and eerie scene, matching the desired style perfectly. Another test involved a black-and-white portrait of a woman posing in front of a modern sofa. Sana was able to capture the minimalist aesthetic, getting the composition and lighting right, though some testers noted that finer details in the fabric textures were not as sharp as expected. Interestingly, Sana also performed well with more abstract prompts. A surreal image featuring a robot standing on top of a first aid box and a dog atop a TV screen with the word decrypt displayed was generated without glitches. This flexibility shows that the model isn't limited to realism. It's versatile enough to handle both artistic and surreal imagery. However, one notable drawback was that SANA struggled with generating accurate text within images. In prompts that required the AI to render specific words on objects, the output was often garbled, a limitation shared by other AI art models. Strengths and Weaknesses SANA's speed and efficiency are its biggest strengths. 
Generating high quality, large scale images in seconds gives it an edge over traditional models that require minutes and powerful GPUs. For artists, creators, or developers working on limited hardware, this model could unlock new possibilities without the need to invest in expensive tech. Additionally, the model's uncensored nature ensures accurate rendering of both male and female anatomy, offering flexibility for artistic expression without unnecessary restrictions. That said, Sana isn't without its weaknesses. As mentioned earlier, text generation remains a challenge. This isn't unique to Sana. Many AI models struggle with accurately rendering words or text within images, but it's still a point worth noting for users who may need this functionality for things like logos or designs. Another limitation is that while the model is versatile, some testers notice minor inconsistencies in fine details. For example, in the portrait prompt, certain textures didn't come out as sharp as expected. While these are relatively small issues, they suggest that Sana's image quality may vary slightly depending on the complexity of the scene. The open source release planned by NVIDIA will be a significant step forward, allowing developers to fine tune the model and potentially address some of these shortcomings. However, it also raises the question of how accessible this technology will be for those unfamiliar with model customization. Developers will need to explore Sana's unique architecture, which could slow down the creation of new, optimized versions. Why NVIDIA's Timing Matters NVIDIA's release of Sana comes at a crucial time in the AI space. The competition among models like Stable Diffusion 3.5, Flux, and AuraFlow is heating up, with each promising better performance and more creative control. However, many of these models still demand considerable computing power, limiting accessibilities for creators who don't have access to high-end GPUs. NVIDIA's decision to introduce a model that offers 4K image generation on consumer hardware sets it apart and fills a gap in the market. The company's timing is also strategic, given the rising interest in generative art tools across industries. With more artists, designers, and even casual users exploring AI tools, there's a clear need for models that prioritize speed and ease of use. By allowing users to generate high-quality images without steep hardware investment, NVIDIA positions itself to attract a wider audience. This move could also benefit GPU sales, as users who experience the model's power may be more inclined to upgrade their systems in the future. At the same time, the release of open-source models like Stable Diffusion has created a more competitive landscape. NVIDIA's decision to make Sana open-source follows this trend, signaling that the company understands the value of community-driven innovation. However, whether this strategy will translate into dominance in the AI art space remains to be seen. Developers and artists will need to explore Sana's architecture, and it will be interesting to see how quickly the community embraces it. How Sana's open source potential could shape the future The open source release of Sana is a significant development. Open source models empower developers to modify, improve, and customize the technology to suit different needs. This has been the driving force behind the popularity of models like Stable Diffusion, with entire communities springing up to create unique versions and fine tunes. NVIDIA's decision to adopt this approach is a smart move, but it also introduces new challenges. Since Sana's architecture differs significantly from traditional models, developers will need time to understand its deep compression autoencoder and LDT framework. This could delay the creation of community-made versions or optimizations, at least in the short term. On the flip side, the open source nature of the model could encourage rapid innovation once developers become familiar with it. Artists and researchers might experiment with new ways of generating images, expanding the possibilities of what AI art can achieve. However, community involvement can be a double-edged sword. While it promotes innovation, it also introduces the risk of misuse. Open source AI models have faced criticism for enabling the creation of deepfakes or generating problematic content. NVIDIA has not indicated whether it will include any safeguards or content filters with the open source release, which leaves some questions about how Sana will be managed and monitored once it's in the public domain. Impact on Creators and Artists For artists, designers, and content creators, Sana could be a game-changer. The ability to generate high-resolution 4K images quickly and on standard hardware means more people will have access to advanced creative tools. This could democratize the field of digital art, making it easier for independent creators to compete with larger studios that traditionally had access to more powerful technology. However, this also raises concerns about AI-generated art saturating the market. 
With models like Sana making it easier to create high-quality visuals, some artists fear that the uniqueness of human-made art could be lost in a flood of AI creations. This is an ongoing debate in the creative community, with some embracing AI tools as a way to enhance their work, while others worry about the impact on originality and authenticity. NVIDIA's decision to keep Sana uncensored could further appeal to artists looking for full creative freedom. Many models, especially those on public platforms, impose restrictions on certain types of content. By removing these barriers, Sana gives users more control over what they can create. But this also comes with risks, as unrestricted models can be misused, raising ethical questions about the responsibility of AI developers in shaping the kind of content their tools produce. NVIDIA's Sana offers a new take on AI art, combining speed, efficiency, and accessibility to challenge larger, more demanding models. With features like the deep compression, autoencode, Gemma 2 LLM, and LDT, it caters to both professionals and casual users. However, limitations remain, from struggles with text generation to occasional detail inconsistencies. The open source release adds potential, but it will take time for developers to fully explore and improve the model. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.